Hi, this is again a Blender 2.78 tutorial about drawing curves freehand onto surfaces. Okay, I started up Blender 2.78 and let's pretend this is an arm that I modeled. I modeled this or sculpted this very fast and my goal is now to uh, add a curve and draw a freehand spline onto this surface. So let's add a busier curve. Turn on the screencast keys here so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. Then I switch to edit mode, press X and delete all the vertices from this curve. It doesn't matter where this curve is located because now I will start to draw onto the surface of this arm. When you open up this create panel, you can see the button draw curve. This is the new method to draw freehand splines. But before we check the options for this feature, we leave the options here as they are. One of the last options is to draw directly at the cursor and the other one is to draw onto a surface. That's what we are going for. Okay, now we can press this button and the other way is to hold the shift key down and move the mouse and press the left mouse button and draw it directly here onto this arm. And this new spline attaches automatically to the surface of the arm. But let's add a shape to the curve by setting the fill option to full, increase the size and the resolution and you can see this already growing looks quite nice okay now let's move this a little bit into the arm i will explain this uh, later on and the start and the end of this mesh or of this this shape has a lower radius and this is because i set the taper radius here to um, 0.4. When I set this to 0, I can just show this and draw this spline. Then we get an equal shape, but we don't want this now. So I reset the taper radius to 0.4. That's a good value in my opinion. And now let's draw two more curves onto this arm. Here, move it a little bit in. And also here. Yeah, and this looks really creepy but nice okay now where to go from here we have the curves we have the shapes and we want to uh, combine this with the underlying object so what i do now is i switch to object mode for this curve select it and choose mesh from this curve and now i converted this curve into a mesh can see this here when I switch to edit mode then switch to object mode select this object and the arm by holding the shift key pressed then switch to the bool tool tab and press union the bool tool add-on is shipped by default with blender 2.78 and I use this to combine objects like this with my sculptings now I switch to dynamic topology mode, use the smooth brush and nicely integrate this into this arm. And this is why I said that we should move the curves into this arm a little bit because it could be the case that when there is too much distance between the curve and the other object for which we want to do the union operation that we receive holes and they are really hard to fix trust me but this works really nice in this case and you can use different brushes now and sculpt onto this in dynamic topology mode that's really fun okay but there is more to it that i want to show you right now so this looks quite funny and a little bit strange, but let's return to our arm as it was. Again, I will add a curve, remove all vertices and start as I did before. 
added these properties so that we can see our curve, increase the resolution. And now let's draw again three hand splines. But we want to draw splines that start from this surface but lead away from it. Looks like spikes or something like that. So we check the option only first and set the taper radius just for the end of the curve. And now let's see how this will look like. For this operation I suggest that you set the offset to a negative value so that the spline starts really inside of the underlying object. Because if you don't do this, we can check this for a positive value, you again receive these holes. And this will lead to big problems when we come to the uh, bool tool for the union operation. Just move this inside of this object. Okay, let's add some more of these spikes. One here. Yeah, this looks fun. Perhaps decrease the depth a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. I think I will use this as a kind of a clickbait thing. <laughs> okay, great. Now again, Switch to object mode for the curve, press Alt-C and convert it into a mesh. And as before, select the arm while holding the Shift key pressed so that both objects are selected. Switch to pull tool and press Union. And this seems to be successful, yeah. Really good, okay. Now you can watch me sculpt this in and that was it for the drawing curves in Blender 2.78. So thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you will subscribe here to my channel. Here's the link. And it would also be pretty cool if you could support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to create tutorials like this. Looks so crazy. <laughs> <laughs>